Art Science Museum. Welcome to today's episode of Virtual Tour, where we'll be taking a look at some of our past exhibition sea creatures. Now, the first artifact that I would like to share with you from prehistoric time is an ichthyosaur fossil by Mary Anning. It was exhibited in one of our past exhibitions, Treasures of the Natural World. This exhibition was showcased from November 2017 to April 2018. In this exhibition, we have a total of 200 over star objects handpicked from 18 million specimens from London Natural History Museum. So what exactly is Treasures of the Natural World exhibition about in Art Science Museum? The artifacts were selected based on their historical and scientific importance and we showcase this exhibition through five different sections starting from building nature's treasures house how all these collections started from Sir Hans Sloan and then it was campaigned by Richard Owen to house them in British Museum which is now known as London Natural History Museum. In this exhibition we house scientific specimens of the natural world from animals to gems and minerals in this exhibition, we also have original manuscript of famous scientists such as Alfred Russell Wallace and also Charles Darwin who discovered the theories of evolution. Diving deeper into Treasures of the Natural World exhibition was a fossilized ichthyosaur by Mary Anning. Mary Anning was an English fossil collector and also a pioneer in paleontology studies. Mary Anning and her family rely on the sales of fossils for a living. They were all skilled fossil collector along Jurassic Coast, formerly known as Lime Bridges. Back in her days, she did not receive any formal education, so she taught herself geology and also anatomy. Her excavation influenced many British scientists by providing them specimens to study. Some may say that she even contributed to Charles Darwin's theories of evolution. Around 200 million years ago, this ichthyosaur swam and hunted in the ocean around Britain. In 1810, it was Joseph, Mary Anning's brother, who discovered this first skull of the ichthyosaur fossil. Mary Anning went on to excavate 5.2 meter long of this fossilized ichthyosaur. Various specimens of the ichthyosaur was discovered with remnants of young inside them, and these led paleontologists to conclude that ichthyosaur were viviparous. They do not lay eggs, they give birth to their young life, unlike many land-dwelling reptiles. This marine reptile had a streamline of a body that's almost similar to a dolphin. However, the only difference is that the tail, this vertical fish-like tail, allows the ichthyosaur to propel in great speed. The scientists initially thought that it was a crocodile, but it's not. Now, Georges Curia, a naturalist and also father of paleontology, was the one who introduced the word extinction. So this was way before Charles Darwin's theories of evolution because their book will not be published until 48 years later. More men have walked the moon than to dive into the deepest part of our ocean, said Dr. Cindy Lee Vandover, a deep sea biologist. Moving on to the present time, the second artifact of this episode I would like to introduce to you today is the murderer in the dark. It is also known as Murray's Abyssal Anglerfish. Now this was exhibited in our past exhibition, The Deep, in June 2015. In this exhibition, we showcase marine life from 150 meters, known as the twilight of the ocean, to the abyssal plain, the bottom of the sea, that goes 4,000 meters and below. In this exhibition, we showcase perfectly preserved and extremely rare marine life in crystalline details. This includes mesmerizing sea fauna and also ethereal bioluminescent sea creatures. Some of them were even photographed for the very first time. This exhibition was exhibited in pitch black environment to create a virtually immersive atmosphere, like as if you are walking the deep sea on your own. Through this exhibition, we hope to generate awareness about the fragility of deep sea ecosystem and how important it is to conserve them. The anglerfish is a soft-bodied fish that lacks pelvic fins and body scales. This is because fishes in the abyssal zone, they are usually slow-moving or static. Due to the darkness that they live in, these black devil fish, they survived with um, special feature. They have bioluminescence to attract its prey 
and with your big mouth, they inhale and gulp their prey in whole. Now, movie always depicts how enormous these anglerfish are, but in fact, some of them are only up to 13 centimeters long. The females are larger than the male species. Now, fun fact, only females come with the bioluminescence and also a fishing rod. Now, the male have to fuse themselves to their mate, the belly of the female, like a parasite, in order to survive and to look for food. Now, the third artwork that I would like to introduce to you is the skyscraper brush whale that was exhibited outside of Art Science Museum from November 2019 to January 2020. It was our initiative for Climate SOS, Season of Sustainability for Marina Vicence. Now, initially, this was built for 2018 Bruce Triennial, and it was brought over to Singapore by Ocean Recovery Alliance and also Marina Bay Sands for its first peace stop of Asia Pacific Tour. This sculpture was built with 4,500 kilograms of waste that was reclaimed from the Pacific Ocean in 2018. This serves to us as a reminder that there are still 150 million tons of waste swimming in the ocean right now. Now, it is also sending us an alarming message of trash filled ocean. Every year, 8 million tons of waste goes into the ocean. If this continues in our future, there will be more waste than marine life in our ocean. Have you ever thought of how sea creatures will evolve in the future? The last artifact that I would like to share with you is a robotic jellyfish from Universe and Art. Universe and Art is a past exhibition of Art Science Museum co-curated with Mori Art Museum of Japan. It was opened in April 2017 to July 2017. In Universe and Art, ancient and contemporary artifacts were displayed to portray different visions of the universe. It involves religion, scientific research, mythologies and also artistic impression. Now, this exhibition, we were also trying to show how explorations of the past were contemplated through time and influenced the knowledge of today. The Universe and Art exhibition was showcased across four main themes, starting off with exploration of space by showcasing Eastern and Western perspective of constellation, following by how these artists were influenced by the research uh, to create their art. In this exhibition, we also showcase artists who fuel their imagination based on the unknown. Potential life forms from different parts of the world has been a constant mystery and source of fascination to both artists and scientists. Vincent Fournier is a French artist who created the robotic jellyfish also known as Cyanier Machina. This 3D printed sculpture was amongst one of his many creations that evolves around the idea of question of science and utopian theories. He imagined one day there might be a possibility of futuristic technology replacing natural organism. Now, the robotic jellyfish is actually a drone that set out to river to collect fresh water and transport them to dry and remote agricultural areas. And his interest is actually the stories, the philosophical trail that his work provokes in his audience and people questioning the purpose of this creation and how it will help the future. And these uh, stories are often fighting within the borders of being real and just pure imaginations of the future. And his work also creates this temporality between past, present parallel and also future. We have come to the end of today's virtual tour episode on Ocean Life. Let us know on your thoughts below of any interesting sea creatures that you would like to share or imaginations of the future. Thank you so much for watching. Stay home, stay safe and stay tuned for more.